Today we're going to talk about how to divide a mixed number by a fraction. And in the first half of the video, I'm going to show you one way of doing it. And in the second half, I'm going to show you another way of doing it as well in case you're interested. So let's start with this problem, 8 and 2 over 5. Let's divide it by 3 over 4. So one way you can do this is by converting the mixed number into an improper fraction. So let's keep this the same. We're going to multiply 8 and 5 by, well 8 times 5 is 40, and then we're going to add 2, the numerator, and so that's going to be 42. And this is going to be 42 over 5. The denominator will stay the same. So now we can rewrite this situation as 42 over 5 divided by 3 over 4. And then we need to use something called keep change flip. So we need to keep the first fraction the same, change division to multiplication, and then the second fraction, 3 over 4, we need to flip it. So it becomes 4 over 3. Now it turns out that we can simplify before we multiply in this case. 42 is 14 times 3. So notice that we can cancel a 3. So we're left with 14 times 4. 10 times 4 is 40. 4 times 4 is 16. 40 plus 16 is 56. So we have 56 over 5. So now we need to convert this number into a mixed number. So let's use long division. 5 goes into 5 one time. 5 minus 5 is 0, and we need to bring down the 6. 5 goes into 6 one time, and 6 minus 5 is 1. So this is going to be 11 and 1 over 5. So that's the answer to the first problem. Now let's look at another example. So let's say we have 9 and 3 over 7 divided by 5 over 6. Go ahead and try that problem. So let's convert the mixed number into an improper fraction. So the 7 will stay the same. And then we're going to have 9 times 7, which is 63, plus 3. And so that's going to be 66. So this is 66 over 7 divided by 5 over 6. And that's going to be 66 over 7. And then we need to change division to multiplication. And then we need to flip the second fraction. So instead of having 5 over 6, it's going to be 6 over 5. 66 times 6, that's 396. And 7 times 5 is 35. So let's simplify that fraction. 396 over 35. Let's use long division. 35 goes into 39 one time. And so this is going to be 39 minus 35 is 4. And if we bring down the 6, 35 goes into 46 one time. 35 times 1 is 35, and 46 minus 35 is 11. So this becomes 11 and 11 over 35. Now let's move on to our third example. 8 and 3 fifths divided by 2 over 3. So 8 times 5 is 40, plus the 3 on top, that's going to be 43. And so we can write this as 43 over 5 divided by 2 over 3, which is the same as 43 over 5 times 3 over 2. Now what's 43 times 3? 40 times 3 is 120. 3 times 3 is 9. So this is 129 over 5 times 2, which is 10. Now let's convert this improper fraction into a mixed number. So I'm going to use another way of doing this instead of long division. The highest multiple of 10 just under 129 is 120. 
and the difference between these two numbers is 9. So we could say 129 is 120 plus 9. Now 120 divided by 10, if you cancel the 0, this will give you 12. So we have 12 plus 9 over 10, which is 12 and 9 tenths. So that's the answer for the third example. By the way, if you want more videos on dividing mixed numbers, check out the description section of this video. I'm going to post a few links that you might find helpful. Now let's go over the first problem, but doing it another way. So the second method of doing this is to convert the mixed number into a whole number and a fraction. So 8 and 2 fifths, we can write that as 8 plus 2 over 5. And so what we have here is a complex fraction. How can we simplify this complex fraction? What I like to do is multiply by something that will eliminate the two smaller fractions within the larger fraction. So I'm going to get rid of the 2 over 5 and the 3 over 4. So I need to get rid of 5 and 4. So I'm going to multiply the top and bottom by 20. So let's distribute 8 times 20. What is that? Well, we know 8 times 2 is 16, so 8 times 20 has to be 160. Now, what is 2 over 5 times 20? 2 times 20 is 40. 40 over 5 is 8. And on the bottom, we could say 20 divided by 4 is 5. 5 times 3 is 15. Or if you do 3 times 20 is 60, and then 60 divided by 4 is 15. So we have 160 plus 8 over 15. What do you think we should do at this point? What do you recommend? At this point, we can add 160 plus 8. And so we'll get this. And now we need to convert this into a mixed number. But can we simplify this result? 168, is it divisible by 3 or 5? It appears that it's divisible by 3. If we divide both numbers by 3, notice what's going to happen. 168 divided by 3 is 56. And 15 divided by 3 is 5. So we have 56 over 5, which we can split it into these two fractions. 55 over 5 is 11. So we have 11 plus 1 over 5, which is 11 and 1 fifth. And that was the answer to the first problem, which we had earlier in this video. Now let's go over the second example where it was 9 and 3 sevenths divided by 5 over 6. So just like before, we're going to split the mixed number into a whole number and a fraction. And then we're going to simplify the complex fraction. So we need to get rid of the 7 and the 6. So I'm going to multiply the top and bottom by 7 times 6, or 42. So what is 9 times 42? 9 times 40. 9 times 4 is 36, so 9 times 40 has to be 360. And 9 times 2 is 18. 360 plus 18 is 378. And then we have 3 over 7 times 42. So let's divide first. 42 divided by 7 is 6. 6 times 3 is 18. On the bottom, 42 divided by 6 is 7, and 7 times 5 is 35. Now let's add 378 and 18. So we're going to have 396 over 35. And then at this point, just use long division. 35 goes into 39 one time, with a difference of 4. Bring down the 6. 35 goes into 46 one time with a difference of 11. So the final answer is going to be 11 and 11 over 35, which we had before. 
Now let's go over the last example. So let's split the mixed number into a whole number and a fraction. So we have a 5 and a 3. 5 times 3 is 15. So let's multiply the top and the bottom by 15. Now what is 8 times 15? 8 times 10 is 80. 8 times 5 is 40. So 80 and 40 adds up to 120. And then 3 fifths of 15. 15 divided by 5 is 3. And 3 times 3 is 9. So 3 fifths of 15 is 9. And then 2 thirds of 15. So 15 divided by 3 is 5. Times 2. That's 10. So 2 thirds of 15 is 10. And so we have 120 plus 9 over 10. In this case, instead of adding 120 and 9 to get 129, I'm going to break this fraction into two smaller fractions. So I'm going to divide the 120 by 10 and the 9 by 10. Because 120 over 10 gives us a nice whole number, which is 12. And so we get the same final answer as the other one, or the other example. And that's 12 and 9 tenths. So now you know how to divide a mixed number by a fraction.